Hey there everyone, today I'll show you how to install and configure PWA in Angular. So let's start with what is a progressive web app. A progressive web app or PWA is a type of web application that combines the best of both web and mobile apps. Progressive web apps are web applications that are built using the standard web technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This allows developers to create PWAs using familiar web development tools and languages. PWAs are designed to work seamlessly on any platform or device with modern web browsers such as your desktop computer, smartphones and tablets. They are responsive and they load quickly and work seamlessly offline by caching data. Before we jump into creating a progressive web app with Angular, Make sure you have the following prerequisites in place. Angular CLI installed, Node.js and NPM installed. To get started with progressive web app in Angular, we have to follow these simple steps. First, you have to create an Angular project. Then we will add Angular PWA package to our project. Third, we will understand the files that has been added by the Angular PWA package. Then we will test it and will generate a lighthouse test. Now to check that if you have Angular, NPM and Node.js installed correctly, what you can do is open the terminal and run the command ng version. This will give you the Angular, Node.js and NPM version. Okay. Once it is confirmed that you have these three installed properly, let's clear all of this. Now let's create a new Angular project. How we can do that is by running the command ng new followed by the folder name that you want to give. In my case, it's angular-pwa. This command set up an Angular project for us. You can replace that Angular project with your preferred project name. After all the packages have been installed, let's navigate to this directory by running the command cd angular-pwa. Okay, and then run the command code and period to open this project into the code editor. To add progressive web app capabilities to our Angular project, let's open the terminal in here and run the command ng add angular slash pwa. This command will install the necessary packages and configure our project for progressive web app functionalities. After adding the pwa package, Angular made several changes to our project. It adds various PNG files and icons for PWA functionality. It also adds ngswconfig.json file and even manifest.webmanifest file for PWA configuration. Additionally, it modifies key project files such as angular.json, package.json file and app.module.ts file. ngswconfig file is an essential part of how PWA works. This file essentially tells our Angular app how to handle caching and serving resources. The schema field tells us that this file adheres to Angular service worker schema ensuring compatibility. The index field specifies our app's entry point, typically index.html. It's the first page users see. Set groups is an array that organize how our app assets are cached and served. The app group is configured for prefetching. It means these files loads early, increasing initial load speed, including favicon.ico, index.html, CSS, and JavaScript file. On the other side, assets is set to lazy loading. Resources load on demand, reducing the initial load times. This include images, fonts, and many more. Now, let us understand manifest.webmanifest file. Name and short name defines the name of your PWA. Name tells us how the application will be listed, while short name is name accompanying the icon on the home screen. Icons define an array of images. These specify a collection of icons that represent our app on different devices and context. Each icon is defined by its source, the image file path, size, dimension in pixels,
type the image format and purpose. Start URL will tell the URL where the PWA should start when launched. Display tells us how our app should be displayed. Standalone means it should appear as a standalone application, not in the browser window. Instead of standalone, you can also use full screen, minimal UI or browser. Background color sets the background color displayed while the progressive web app is loading. Theme color is the default theme color for the application. On Android, this is also used to color the status bar. Now let's see what Angular PWA package made changes in Angular.json file. Angular.json file is used to configure various aspects of Angular application including assets, styles and script. Assets list files and directories to include as assets such as icons and images. This script array allows you to include additional JavaScript files. Service Worker True enables the Service Worker for progressive web app functionality. This config path is set to ngswconfig.json points to the Service Worker configuration file. App.module.ts is used to import the Service Worker module for registering ngswconfig.js file. So this register the service worker as soon as the application is stable. Now let's verify if the manifest.webmanifest file is working properly. Open the terminal and run the command npm start. And the website will start running on the localhost 4200. Control plus click on it. Right click anywhere on the page then select inspect to launch the browser's dev tools. Within the Developer DevTools, navigate to the Application tab. There, you will find the section of Manifest File, Service Worker File, and Story. And now, in the Manifest section, you will find the details such as the name, short name, description, and icons have all been retrieved from manifest.webmanifest file. But one thing we will notice here is that declaring any icon with the purpose any maskable is discouraged. So this is kind of a warning or you can say an error. How we can remove this is head back to the code and you will find the purposes of all the images is set to maskable any. So what you have to do is grab all of this and control select each one of them. Let's remove this and set to any and copy one image and paste it down here and the purpose for it let's set to maskable and save the file and now it compiled again so let's go back to the browser and refresh the page and there you will have no error or warning now and you will see these two icons the one is set with the purpose any and the another one is set with the purpose maskable okay and then in a service worker tab you will find no file the reason for that is a progressive web app runs in a secure https and local environments however it's important to note a limitation with the angular cli the service worker doesn't function when using the ng serve or npm start command we will need to create a build and host it independently that will rely on tools like HTTP server. So back to the code, open the package.json file and down here let's add one another script that is start pwa. What it will do is it will build your angular app in production mode and start as an HTTP server on the port 8080 to host the production build of the app. Don't forget to save this file and in the terminal let's stop this by clicking on ctrl plus c and then put y over here and then run the command npm run start dash pwa and there you will find the website is running on localhost 8080 so ctrl plus click on it let's close this and let's navigate back to the dev tools Go to the application tab and in the service worker file you will see that now the ngsw worker that was the service worker file is activated and is running and you can stop it by clicking on this stop button so when you click on 
so when you click on manifest file you will see that manifest is also working and one thing i notice is we didn't provide the description in the manifest file so please provide it okay and then in service worker which is also running and then in the network tab you will find all these files are running from the service worker file now let's generate a lighthouse test click on the lighthouse tab and here click on analyze page load it will start generating the report and it might take a few moments okay so let's wait and see what it gives us and there you will see all this green on accessibility best practices and seo performance can vary depending upon the cache okay and the pwa here you will see this green tick when you click on it you will see that it is all green okay that means the pwa checklist is completely green and that our app is also a pwa right now and here you will have this icon so what does this mean is like now you can even install this website as a native app okay not a proper native app but like a native app so you just have to click on it and then you can install from here so that's it in just a few step you have transformed your angular project into a progressive web app i hope you found this tutorial helpful and don't forget to like this video and if you have any doubts please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below or you can even join my discord server the link will be provided in the about section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and take care